when I was reading Proverb 3 verse 16 yesterday I realized that indeed there are three things that most of us want in our lives. Long life, riches, believe it or not, and honor. We want to live a good life span and we want to have the mean hallelujah to support our lifestyle and we want to be recognized and today i'm going to show you how you can obtain these three things Proverb 3 verse 16. Long life is in her right hand and in her left hand are riches and honor. My God, my God. But you know, the way they're talking here, it's like they're talking about a feminine spirit. It's like a woman. Long life is in her right hand and in her left hand are riches and honor. So we are going to go back a little bit in verse 13, Proverb 3, verse 13. Blessed is the man who finds wisdom, the man who gains understanding. Verse 14, for she is more profitable than silver and yields better return than gold. My God, my God. Wisdom will give you these three things. Long life. Yes, if you are wise, you're not going to die early. <laughs> you know when to leave the street <laughs> and you know what to eat and you know how to take care of yourself right that's in her right hand long life in her left, yeah, left hand riches and all that. but you must find wisdom yes this is what verse 13 is saying Blessed is the man. You are blessed when you are wise. But wisdom will not come to you just like that. You must find wisdom. Amen and amen. Because within wisdom, you obtain understanding. For every situation that you see, there is a wisdom associated to it. And the Lord Jesus said, yes, Patrick. You need wisdom, not only for yourself, but to know how to direct my affairs. Amen and amen. Most of the people who got rich, they, they have financial wisdom. Amen and amen. You can say wisdom has many categories. But within the categories, you must obtain the understanding of that particular field. Amen and amen. Like long life, it's about your health. Wisdom will teach you how to live healthy and therefore you ended up living a long life because you obtain the understanding of health you want to be wealthy the understanding of wealth 
Amen and amen. Blessed shall you be. But you know, I said to the Lord, this is serious contrast. When last week I was talking about it for you to be in a donkey that is associated with dumbness. And now you're teaching us, Lord, wisdom. He said, yes. It is wise for you to be my dog, not the donkey of the devil or somebody else out there or your boss <laughs> that you work for. Amen and amen. Verse 15. She is more precious than rubies. But we must go back a little bit to verse 14. The wisdom is more profitable than silver. Amen and amen. You imagine silver is a precious metal. More profitable than silver. Yields better returns than gold. That's mean investment. You may say, okay, I have a little winning here. I'm going to invest it in this. Guess what? Wisdom will turn out to be a good investment for you. Yes. Precious. More precious than rubies. And there is nothing on earth that you can compare wisdom with. Nothing you desire can compare with her. My God, my God. Like I said, the way you know wisdom is being described is like a woman because they said she said, I am looking for her. And today I want you to say wisdom. I am searching for you. I want you to entertain a courtship with wisdom. To say to wisdom, I love you. I am searching for you. In your prayers, <coughs> I want you to ask God to help you find wisdom. Blessed is the man who finds her who finds wisdom. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Yesterday I opened the Sabbath talking about transfiguration and the Lord said, tell them, they will not change to become like me without wisdom. Imagine, imagine a Christian you're supposed to be like Christ, the light of the world. And now the world is looking at you that you are without wisdom. Amen, amen, amen. Yes, you can be a donkey for Jesus, not a donkey for the devil. <laughs> amen, amen. Not a donkey for your oppressor. Yes, you have Christian to say, Oh, you know, I don't know how. I have a prayer request like that, actually. I don't know how to ask my boss for more money, but I've been working there for 20 years without a raise. Yes, I said, it is not wise not to ask for what you deserve. Amen and amen. You have to be wise. Verse 17. Her ways are pleasant ways, and all her paths are peace. Imagine, you are in the beginning, in the year 2017, in the Gregorian calendar. And you reinvent yourself, and you become a wise man. Or if you are a woman, a wise woman. My God, my God. The embodiment of wisdom. 
Wisdom will reside in you. That will be, you will become a savior, ready to save yourself from your bad situation, but to save your significant other, your children, your relatives, your friends. Amen and amen. Her ways are pleasant ways. Imagine. And the Bible said, how beautiful are the feet. <laughs> beautiful shall be your feet. He said, my God, I'm going to walk like this guy. <laughs> or like this lady here. Because your ways will be pleasant. Your move, move of riches, moves of honor. And they see you totally at peace in the process. Amen and amen. Verse 18. She is a tree of life. Those who embrace her. To those who embrace her. Amen and amen. That means if you get connected with wisdom, you will have life. You will be alive again. Without wisdom, you are like dead. But with wisdom, guess what? You are full of life. Because you know your way. You are destined your situation, and you know where you are going. My God, my God. Those who lay hold of her will be blessed. My God, my God. Imagine you finally said, Wisdom, I have met you, and I am in love with you. My God, my God. And guess what? And will the wisdom will talk to you back and say, you are my beloved. Amen and amen. By wisdom, the Lord laid the earth's foundation. By understanding, he set the heavens in place. It's not only to obtain the wisdom of a man, but it is good also for you to understand the matter. Amen and amen. Because how many people, you know they have the wisdom of something, but they never apply it. This is why the Lord said, wisdom is the fusion of knowledge and understanding. When you meet wisdom, wisdom will give you a bunch of knowledge, but you must try to understand because listen to verse 20 by his knowledge the deeps were divided and the clouds let drop the two amen and amen when you meet with wisdom you will gain a lot of knowledge but you must through this knowledge, grasp the understanding. My brothers, my sisters, there are three things that you are seeking for, said the Lord. And it is very important for you to have wisdom, especially in America, and even more so in Haiti. Hallelujah. We need wisdom in order to have a long life, to obtain whatever we need and to be honored in your community. And if you seek for wisdom, the Lord said, you shall find her. And when you obtain wisdom, hallelujah, you must, gain the understanding 
Because if you do not keep what you have learned, hallelujah, to the knowledge that wisdom will present to you, you will not succeed. I say these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.